Today I will show you a thriller film from 2015, titled Knock Knock. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Evan and Karen live a charmed life in California with their two kids and a tiny dog. She is a sculptor preparing for her biggest show, while he is an architect. As the family sits down to eat breakfast, Karen's assistant Louie walks into the house, bringing the catalogs for her exhibition. They all joke around and Evan asks his kids if they have everything ready for their weekend trip to the beach with their mom. Karen shows the main piece to Louie, telling him that it's still drying and he promises that he will pick it up once it's dry to take it to the gallery. As Karen and the kids are getting ready to go, she tells Evan that his physical therapist Vivian will be there the next day. The kids beg him to come with them on the weekend, but he needs to stay and work. In the dark and rainy night, Evan can be seen working on his computer and listening to music on his super fancy turntable. He gets a call from Karen who tells him that they already miss him. After that, Evan continues to work long into the night, making 3D printed models of his designs. At one point, he hears a knock on the front door and he opens it to two girls looking for someone whose name he doesn't recognize. He reluctantly lets them in to use his computer and find the right address they were supposed to go to. The girls come in and Evan goes to get them some towels and his iPad. When he returns, he finds them in another part of the house. The blonde girl introduces herself as Belle and the other girl's name is Genesis. Genesis asks for his address and says that they mispronounced the name of the street to the cab driver so now they're really far away from where they were supposed to be. Evan calls them an Uber and manages to get one in 45 minutes. The girls consult for a second, then ask Evan if they could throw their clothes in the dryer so they don't go to the party soaking wet. Evan agrees and gets them some extra robes, then asks for Genesis's phone to try and dry it in some rice. Next, he can be seen doing just that, as well as making tea for them when they enter the kitchen and give him their clothes. Evan puts the clothes in the dryer when he hears the girls playing music on his old turntable and laughing. He walks in on them dancing and they start talking about his massive record collection. Evan tells them that he used to be a DJ in his 20s. They act surprised about his age and ask him how old he is so when he reveals his age, the girls tell him that he looks younger. Evan says that he got married young and that his wife and kids are on a weekend trip where they were supposed to go together, but he had to stay home to work. The girls feel sorry for him for staying home alone and hug him, when Genesis starts groping him, saying that he's way too ripped to be as old as he is. Evan gets a bit uncomfortable, but when Belle sees a picture of his wife and tells him that he's a lucky guy, he relaxes a bit. Evan gushes about Karen and her art, stunning Belle when she learns that all of the artwork in the house is Karen's. Genesis says that she studied art history for a semester and asks why Karen's sculptures aren't at MoMA. That prompts Evan to show them Karen's catalog for the art show she'll be having in LA. The girls are impressed by his wife and him, calling them a hot couple and asking about their love life, making Evan a little nervous. He says that he's not used to girls talking about lovemaking so openly, so the girls laugh at him, telling him that he suddenly does sound old. He switches seats again and checks on the Uber. Genesis asks how long he's been married to Karen and he answers that it's been a while. She asks if his wife is the only woman he's been intimate with for all of those years and he explains that it's how it is when you love someone. Naturally, the girls don't agree with him and have a lot to say about monogamy and human nature, making Evan think for a second. Belle tells him that she knows that once she gets married, her future hubby would want to sleep with other girls. Her solution to that problem is to just have threesomes and that way he would never cheat on her. Evan gets more nervous and changes the subject, asking what they do for a living. Genesis tells him that they're flight attendants and both start role-playing as such with him. Evan dodges them again, moving to another seat and asking where they are based at. They all begin talking about their job and traveling, with Belle saying the traveling is the best way to get life experience. The girls start gossiping about their co-workers and find a way to shift the conversation back to lovemaking. Evan checks on the Uber nervously again when Genesis asks to use the bathroom. He gets up to change the record and puts one on that Belle chooses from his collection. Evan tells her all about the artist and she listens intently, then begins to dance, inspiring Evan to DJ for her. He finds another record to blend with the one he's playing and impresses Belle with his skill. Belle tells him that she's glad that they knocked on his door, having way more fun at his house instead of the party they were supposed to go to. He tells her that it's not usually as exciting at his house as it is with them there. Belle thinks it was destiny that they met and gets him to dance with her, while he tells her that things happen by your own design. She flirts with him and tries to kiss him when the Uber suddenly arrives. 
Bell goes to get Genesis and he goes to get their clothes in the phone. When the girls don't arrive at the door, Evan goes to look for them in the bathroom. He hears them laughing inside and steps in to give them their clothes, only to find them naked there. They say that it's his surprise and Evan acts all prudish at first, saying that their Uber is waiting and pleads with them to get dressed. Genesis begins to kiss him and he refuses the advances, but once both of them start to touch him he gives in pretty easily. The Uber leaves because no one answers his calls, while Evan has a threesome with the girls in the bathtub and then in his bed. The three of them fall asleep together. Evan wakes up in bed alone the next day and immediately returns his wife's texts, then puts his wedding band back on. He gets dressed and checks the house but as soon as he thinks the girls are gone, he hears them laughing and making a mess in the kitchen. When he walks in, he finds Genesis making pancakes and offering him some. Evan gets angry at their behavior and asks them if he can drive them home or wherever they would want. The girls laugh at him so he gets even angrier, realizing that he has a small problem on his hands. Suddenly, his wife rings and he runs outside to take the call. Evan tells her that he smoked too much weed and passed out, so Karen calls him a lightweight. She begins telling him about the kids when the two girls appear on the glass door behind him. He moves so that she can't see them on the video call and tells her about his work project, that he's on a really good groove and will finish it soon. The girls continue to mess with him through the glass doors and Karen notices that he's distracted so they end the call. Realizing that he's going to have a hard time getting rid of the girls, he walks into the house cursing and yelling at them. Evan tells them to get up and get dressed, so the girls run into the other room. When he goes there to get them, he only finds Genesis and then goes looking for Belle. He finds her in his closet, dressed in his shirt, asking him to hold her and throwing herself onto him, saying that she loves him. Evan takes her back to Genesis and gives them three minutes to get dressed while he waits for them outside. He finishes his cigarette and walks back in to get them when he sees both of them painting on top of Karen's sculpture. Evan gets pissed and flings Genesis off the sculpture then grabs the pen from Belle's hands, asking them if they have any idea what they've done. They say that they were inspired by last night so he decides to actually call the police. However, Genesis tells him that it wouldn't be such a good idea because they're underage. Belle, she says, is 15. Evan doesn't believe it, so Genesis tells him that the jury will. She calls it statutory rape. Belle says that she has evidence if he still decides to call. He is confused because of the flight attendant story they gave him the previous day and Genesis tells him that they saw that in a movie. Evan doesn't know what to do so he asks them how much money they would want. They say that he's different from the others and that he shouldn't get mad. Evan shows them his wallet and asks how much again, offending them for treating them like prostitutes. Belle slaps him, saying that she's not the whore when the doorbell rings. Evan tells them to stay there and goes to answer it, finding Vivian, his therapist in front of the door. Vivian immediately begins to talk and he tells her that he's feeling much better and doesn't need any more therapy. The woman continues to talk on and on until Genesis comes out and tells her that he doesn't want her massage. Evan tells her to go back inside and Vivian gets super upset because she loves his wife. He says that it's not what she thinks, but she just continues walking saying that it's exactly what she thinks it is. Evan gets back inside the house, finding the girls messing with his turntable. He pushes Belle away from the table, then tries to push both of them out of the house, but the girls just continue to mess with him. As Genesis keeps taunting him, Evan keeps getting angrier and grabs her by the throat. Belle gets scared and grabs a statue to hit him over the head if she needs to save her friend, who continues to taunt Evan mercilessly. He lets her go and calls the police, reporting a break-in. Before he can say anything else, Genesis cuts the call short and asks him for a ride. They all leave the house and he drives them to another suburb. When Belle leaves the car, she asks Evan if he would like to come in and meet her mom. The girls don't enter the house but instead go the other way. Evan gets back to his home and immediately begins to clean. He cleans up the kitchen and the bathroom, then he tries to clean his wife's sculpture. That night he takes a tablet, thinking that it's all over and that he's managed to get out of the situation unscathed. Evan goes back to work on his work project when he hears glass breaking in another part of the house. He investigates the disturbance but finds nothing at first. Walking into the living room, he finds one of his family photos broken on the ground. When he crouches down to get it, Genesis hits him over the head with one of his wife's sculptures. Evan wakes up tied to the bed, to Genesis putting on makeup and humming. He begs for her to untie him and let him go, saying that he's just a good person that made a mistake, but she just continues doing her thing. Suddenly, 
Belle shows up wearing his daughter's clothes, including her underwear. Evan loses it and tells her to take them off, calling her a crazy bitch. Belle takes the underwear off and throws it in his face, dancing around in front of him, saying that every girl's first love is their daddy. Evan tells her that she's sick, but Belle just continues with her games. He begs her to untie him and the girl just sits on top of him, revealing some of her deep-rooted daddy issues and problematic childhood. Simultaneously, Genesis writes it was not a dream on the mirror. Belle begins to hit Evan, conflating him with her own father, as if he was the one that hurt her when she was a child. Suddenly, his phone rings and they both grab for it. When they see it's Karen calling Evan on FaceTime, they get ready to answer it and unzip his pants, threatening to pick up the call. He begs them not to do it and promises Belle to do everything she wants. Belle wants to make love to him and jumps him, as Genesis records it on his phone then leaves the room. Evan manages to break through his restraints and pushes Belle on the ground, getting up and going after Genesis. When he finds her eating cake, he grabs her by the neck, but she sticks her fork right into his shoulder. She turns the fork around in the wound, pinning Evan down, so when Belle shows up she tells him that they'll have to punish him because he hit her. Evan loses consciousness because of the pain he feels, giving the girls the opportunity to tie him up again. They play a game with him, pretending it's a game show. Genesis plays the MC, while Belle plays a contestant. Evan calls them crazy liars so Genesis starts playing noises through his turntable, hurting his ears terribly. He cries out that he can go deaf, so she stops the noise. Genesis continues the game show role play and when he refuses to participate, she hurts him again. The second question Evan answers, pleasing the girls with his response. He tells Genesis that she proved her point so she plays the noise again and when he caves, she asks him another question. Evan doesn't know how to answer and gets close to getting punished, but is saved by the bell, literally. Louis comes over to pick up the sculpture and the girls cover Evan up so he doesn't see him, then Belle wheels him into another room. Genesis answers the door, saying that Evan is her uncle and that they're filming a music video in his house. When Louis walks in to take the sculpture he notices that something is wrong with it and the girls say that they didn't do it. He uncovers it, seeing how they defamed the artwork and the girls begin to tell him a story about how someone broke in and that Evan was chasing him. Louis doesn't believe them and wants to call the cops when Genesis hits on him. Unfortunately, her charm doesn't work on him and he sees right through them. Louis confronts the girls when Evan begins to make noise and he runs over to him. He uncovers Evan and begins to get him out of his restraints, but decides to deal with the girls first when he hears them destroying the sculpture. Louis runs over there and yells at them, but he gets an asthma attack from the panic. However, he can't find his inhaler because they've stolen it from his pocket and begin tossing it around, joking with the man. Evan begs the girls to give him his inhaler, but Louis loses his balance and breaks his head on the base of the sculpture. The girls start laughing and don't listen to Evan's pleas to call an ambulance and help Louis. Evan says that they've killed him, but Genesis says that his wife killed him with her bad sculpture. They will Evan back in the house and later cover Louis's body with paper, making a sculpture out of him. Meanwhile, Evan tries to get to his gun. Genesis sends a threatening text from Evan's phone to Louis and they shove the body in Louis's van. The girls come back and continue with the game show charade with Evan. He doesn't answer the question, but just keeps saying that he's a good father and that what happened with the girls doesn't change how much he loves his family. Genesis calls his family victims to his perverted behavior and Bell spits on a photo of his family, saying that is what he did to them when he slept with the two of them. Evan realizes that they will kill him so he begins to plea for his life, saying that the girls were the ones that started the whole thing by taunting him, accepting no blame for himself whatsoever. Genesis tells him that he'll be executed at dawn and if she were him, she wouldn't waste her last hours crying about it. Belle apologizes, saying that it's the only way. Later, the girls dig a grave for him in his backyard and come back inside just as he's managed to get his tablet to call Karen. Genesis takes it away from him, then they go to change into some other clothes from his closet. After that, they deface most of Karen's sculptures as well as his design models. The girls also give him a bowl cut, continuing to make fun of him and completely destroying his house and the rest of Karen's artwork. Suddenly, they find the gun and Belle unties him. Evan asks what she wants again and Genesis tells him that she wants to play hide and seek, then gives him 30 seconds to hide inside the house. She says that if they don't find him by sunrise that they'll leave. Evan runs into the kitchen, as the girls count down from 30 and he gets a knife. They go looking for him throughout the house and when he thinks they're far enough, Evan runs out of the house. 
Genesis gets to him and says that he can scream as much as he wants, that no one will hear him because no one's home. At dawn, the girls roll Evan to the grave and throw him in. Before they begin to bury him, they prop him up to leave his head above the ground. They bury him in the ground up to his neck and he still continues to beg for his life. Evan promises to behave and Genesis takes out the gag. He tries bargaining with them for his life and Genesis says that they'll let him go if he calls his family and tells them everything. Evan promises to do it, but when Genesis calls his wife's phone and gets her answering machine, he starts screaming for help. Genesis puts the gag back on and tells him that she hung up as soon as she got Karen's voicemail. She grabs a sculpture pretending to drop it on his head, but drops it next to him. He begins to cry and they laugh, saying that they weren't going to kill him. Belle tells him that it was just a game and they say that all of the men they've done this to are the same. Before they leave, they confess that they're actually not underage and do one more thing to Evan. Belle posts the recording of her and Evan on Facebook, then they leave the phone in front of him and leave the house. Evan tries to delete the video before it gets any more hits than it already has, but hits like instead of delete. When his family comes home the next day, they are faced with the absolute chaos the girls left the house in. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.